In 2021, the Miami Dolphins got two of the worst tackle performances of any team in the league out of Jesse Davis and Liam Eikenberg. By pro football focus metrics, they were ranked number 79 and number 80, respectively. Their struggles impacted just about everything that Miami and Tua Tungavailoa wanted to do. They struggled to protect to allow plays to develop downfield for the quarterback and failed to bring consistent efforts to give the running game a boost. With these issues, the Dolphins went into the offseason with a glaring need at the position, and they went out and made a splash, signing former New Orleans Saints left tackle Teron Armstead to a five-year deal worth $75 million, $44 million guaranteed, that could be worth up to $87.5 million if he hits the incentives. It's an awfully big contract for a 30-year-old lineman who has yet to play a full season in the NFL and missed nine games in 2021, though it tells you how serious the Dolphins were about acquiring a player who should become the anchor of a retooled offensive line. Armstead, 30 years old, ranked number 26 among all tackles in those same pro football focus rankings. When he's been healthy he's been one of the premier left tackles in the league, making three straight Pro Bowls in 2018, 2019 and 2020. However, there have been issues with staying on the field. In the last six seasons, Armstead has missed 33 games, including nine in 2021. While that's an issue, it's a risk the Dolphins were apparently willing to take on. The upside of having him there for 10 to 12 games a season probably outweighs having Davis or Eichenberg at left tackle for 16 games. This move, along with the additions of Connor Williams, Alec Ingold, Chase Edmonds and Raheem Mostert, should make this offense much more well-rounded and efficient. There's also the added bonus that addressing left tackle allows general manager Chris Greer and the rest of the decision-makers to have more options when it comes to this year's draft. They should no longer feel compelled to address tackle in the first round like they likely would have if they didn't sign Armstead. Instead, they can draft for the best available player or address other needs like wide receiver, interior offensive lineman or linebacker.